Josh. Well, what's going on? How are, you? <laughs> how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Nice, nice to see you. Yeah. Hey, I'm Josh Martin, linebacker with the New York Jets. Hey, I'm Iris, and I'm a YouTuber, and I also help build brands using the video. Today, we're going to explore Chinatown and find some of the hottest steamed rice roll restaurants. Hopefully, we can warm up a little because it's freezing outside. It is pretty freezing, but we're going to get some real good food. So, we'll show you guys what we got. Let's go. How long? When did you start making videos? Uh, about a year ago. About a year ago? I'm like maybe 20 in. 20 in? That's really good. A little less than a year ago, actually. What made you start? Uh, me go, signing on with Vayner Sports. Yeah. I talked to AJ, and he's like, "Hey, do you want to? How do you feel about having a camera follow you around?" Uh huh. Uh, and yeah. have you seen like YouTube stuff, like vlogs before that? Or are you like paying attention? You know, I used to watch YouTube, yeah. and then it kind of fell off, and YouTube wasn't very popular at all. Uh, like a couple, like for a little bit of time, right? Because like I mean, like 10 years ago when I oh, first started real? watching YouTube. Yeah, when YouTube was a thing, when it first like. Wow. Came on. Just like podcasts were hot at first and then they went away and now everyone's right. making a podcast. Yeah, so I've been seeing all these Instagram posts on steamed <laughs> rice rolls. So yeah. I started working with uh, Jake, who you, you know from Vayner, and yeah, yeah. he uh, recommended this one. So let's go uh, let's take a out. look inside. Oh. Yeah. Thanks. It's a very popular spot where a bunch of very popular restaurants just combine into a hub. So that people can, you know, come to one spot and just try all the different foods. Okay. So, uh, Anything special about the foods here or? Uh, there's like different like types of food. So there's like Korean food, there's poke, there's a steamed rice rolls, there's boba over there, there's like noodles, so just a different, if you want to try different types of food, this is the spot to come to, yeah. Here we go, I am so excited. What are these, steamed rice rolls? Steamed rice rolls. So let's see what's inside. Joe's they finest. Have Joe's finest. There's egg inside, the rice is wrapped on the outside. Egg, scallion, beef. Egg, scallion. Uh, With some soy sauce beans, on top. Beef sprouts, some soy sauce. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right, here we go. First bite. Let's see how it tastes. How is that? Good? It's hot, huh? Mm -hmm. Here, I'll go with this one. That's solid. That's just like a solid meal. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Wow. The flavors just like explode out. I could I, eat this all day. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> when you're playing football, like during the season, what is your diet like? Do you eat Asian food or like do you have a specific meal plan that you are on? You know, I, I stay away from processed foods. I try to eat whole foods. Yeah. Uh, I'm a big fan of sushi. Oh, is that right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. if I stumbled upon Joe's walking in Chinatown, uh -huh. I'd eat this during the season for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, nothing too crazy. The soy sauce maybe. Might be uh, a bit much, um, but this is delicious and it's, yeah, it's relatively good. healthy, fresh. Yeah. You know, you can see him make it. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. Cool. So then, do they put you on like a plan, like, or do you cook, or like, do you go no, to restaurants? You don't. Cook? I eat out a lot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, my girlfriend cooks, uh, but we we eat out. Yeah, yeah. Pretty often. I mean, it's just, easier. Just as often as I eat, I have at least one meal. Uh, from a restaurant a day. Got it. So got whether it. it's, you know, lunch or dinner. 20 bucks worth of sushi yeah. or, you know, roasted rotisserie chicken from somewhere with yeah. some rice or fries. Uh, and then they feed us pretty well at the facility as well. Oh, that's great. Yeah. yeah. So. Awesome. All right, have you tried boba before? No. What's Do you know what it is? What is boba? It, they're like a little tapioca balls that you drink with, they call it milk tea. Mm -hmm. So it's like pearl milk tea with like, tapioca balls where you can chew it. You can chew the tapioca. You can chew it, you chew it. So it's like a snack try. and a drink in one. Exactly. So, Not, okay. yeah, so Boba Guys is a very popular spot and we should try this. Is it still considered a beverage? It is. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. It's like a beverage with some a topping. With a treat. With yeah. a topping. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. We just finished 
finished up at Josephine Rolls, ran into Boba Guys in the same food hall. I'm gonna give it a try. It's very good. I can do this. <laughs> so Boba's super popular. There's a bunch of different like Boba shops around you know the city, just like around the whole U.S. Um, but Boba Guys is actually a very popular spot where you know they have different flavors, such as the classic milk tea, or they have like Hong Kong style or Thai iced tea. Um, just different different options uh, for boba. So it's really good. You like it? I love it. It's good. It's solid. All right, so now we are going to go to a different spot. It's called Sun King Lung. Um, it's about 10 minutes away, so let's head on there. You ready? Let's do it, yeah. yeah. So Iris, I know uh, you have some experience in YouTube, mm -hmm. 40 plus thousand followers, something that you enjoy, something that you're making a living off of. Do you have any tips for me? I had a couple of vlogs I've been <laughs> trying to get up and running. I'm struggling. Yeah. I need as much help as I can get. Well, number one, I think, is just to be your authentic self. You know, to be honest, like when I was starting, I would say that I wasn't fully myself because I was, you know, just learning, putting, sure. out, putting myself out there. Yeah. But stay true to yourself in the things that you want to, you know, present yourself to the world. Mm -hmm. And also, like, document. Like, document what your life is like an athlete, a pro player, pro NFL player, um, show the things that you like outside of, you know, sports, such as food, such as traveling, you know, different cultures, um, and put out content consistently. Because when you put out content more consistently, you build that trust with your audience, and you get more exposure from other people, and honestly, not many people are doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So if you keep up with that, you're gonna get audience from literally all around the world. There's people, you know, in other countries who are interested in what a life is like as an athlete, you know, here mm -hmm. in America, especially, you know, with you on the Jets and, you know, there's a lot of people who are really interested in what that life is like. So mm -hmm. I would show that. And, you know, with the ups and the downs, mm -hmm. you gotta show that because not life all, not all every day is like amazing, but be vulnerable too, because that's a way for you to connect with other people, um, and just you know gain that trust and show that like you're a real human to other people who you know want to connect with you too. For sure. Yeah. That's great advice. So what? Uh, why did you call it that? You said first down and. Well, my my brain team, yeah, Vayner. Oh, is that right? Helps, uh, helps me produce a lot of the content. They help source. Uh, producers, videographers. Uh, I record my podcast at their office, actually. At Vayner? Yeah, Vayner. Oh, really? Yeah, I, pr I use the same mics uh, Gary does, I guess. Yeah. Uh, which is pretty cool. Did, uh, like, do they set it up for you? Yeah, they do everything for me. Really? I tell them when I want to record, who I have coming in. Yeah, yeah. And say, hey, yeah, we booked the room. Uh, oh. David uh, Jaffin takes care of it for me. That's awesome. Yeah, no, they do Very right cool. by me. That's the best part about being in a city. Yeah. Um, I don't think they have a lot of clients in the city. Uh huh. And I'm right across yeah, the river. Yeah, they're so. honestly always there to help. You know. Yeah. Great people. They've been extremely helpful. Right. But yeah, so the first down in life was. Is there like a, a meaning to it? Yeah. So the right. So there's a football reference. First down. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, it's the first try you get, uh, so to speak, uh, or first uh, of four chances you get to accomplish those 10 yards, right? Yeah. Uh, so it's a reference to me being at the beginning of my life, uh, the sort of first quarter, first down, and then having really the rest of my life to go. So it's, it's a, a shout out and a reference to an understanding that football is just the beginning for me. Yeah. Not only for me, uh, but for other football players uh, as well. And, and really anyone in, in those early stages in life. Definitely. Uh, that has the rest of their life to go, right? Yeah, so. so is there any like, you know, purpose like that you want to fulfill in terms of putting out the content? Like, do you want to show, you know, other kids what, you know, who want to become an athlete, like what it's like, or is there, you know? Yeah, no, it's really anything. just, to provide that value to fans who might be interested in learning yeah. more about me uh, and, and also to gain some insights on the way that I view. I think we turned left. 
life and, and everything that I do. As well as, you know, to help build that brand to be able yeah. to leverage the rest of my life, you know? Exactly. Is there anyone, like any athletes who are doing this? Like doing the vlog, do you know uh, anyone? There's definitely a, a, a few. Juju makes a lot of videos on oh, YouTube. Juju, he yeah, has yeah, a yeah. huge USA, following, right? yeah. yeah. Uh, Jamal Adams on the Jets makes some content. Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot of the younger the players, younger yeah, they, they're hip to the game. I'm trying to catch up, so. <laughs> uh, should be here. Is that it? 58 hit? It actually, yeah. Oh, it might be open? Let's see. Speeding cart. Uh. <laughs> this is a little bit sketch slot. I should have just talked that loud. Are you open? Uh, so you're not open tonight? Got it. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. So it's closed from seven. It's open from seven thirty to three thirty. So it's closed after that. And currently it is four forty-five p.m. So we just missed it. But apparently, this is supposed to be a great spot for steam rice uh, rolls, uh, but we missed out on it. Bad coordination on uh, my part. <laughs> it's okay. I'll take the blame for that. It's okay. Where's um, the next spot? Where are we headed? The next spot is at 250 Grand Street, so it's up north. Okay, so I think we continue this way? Yeah, let me look Let's do it. it. <sighs> cool, so we're walking up now to yeah. 250 Grand Street steam rice roll cart i don't think there's an actual name but it's supposed to be one of the best in the city really I'm just the cart is yeah. the best one just the cart you know how new york does it let's see <laughs> what crazy. we can get oh it's right here awesome let's do it all right uh, what is the best one what's the most popular popular uh, yeah popular. One second one. uh let's do the second one uh all type for less food, right yeah uh, medium right. size or small uh how big is the medium uh, it's medium okay. it's small. Uh, let's do medium. Medium, yeah. right? I'm sorry? One order, right? Yes, yeah, one order. Do you, you want to capture them? Uh, I think it's you cash only. I have cash. What kind of sauce do you like? Soy sauce, peanut butter, uh, soy seed. Wait, what sauce? Uh, soy sauce, peanut butter, soy seed, and hot sauce. Oh, put the flour in there. Put it in the side coat. Let it go. Okay. Cool. So we just stopped at 250 Grand Street Steam Rice Roll yeah, Cart. Yeah, it's literally a it. cart. Yeah. And they don't have any sign. It's I guess people just know where to get some steam rice rolls at. The, so. Some of the best steam rice rolls. I think we got the oyster sauce with the fish balls. Excited to try it out. <laughs> Let's dig in. Let's dig in. Oh, I need like. This. All right, so we're gonna try uh, some fish wall oyster steamed rice rolls. It was really cool how they made it. They literally, you know, it was liquid, so it's liquid rice um, flour, and they steamed it up into a little pan. I'm sure you'll get, you guys will see some B-roll footage. Uh, they heat it up, and then Out what do they do? Like. Out comes this. Uh, the rice, and then the they fill rolls. it with stuff, and then uh, put some sauce on it. Yeah. Some fish balls. Try not to spill. It's all good. Mm. All right, take this. I think the other fork was in the bag. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. I can't even hold it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cold. All right, you go first. Okay. I will go. Okay. It's so cold, and my hands are like shaking. Is it really hot? It's actually pretty good because it's cold out. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. So it's literally just uh, steamed rice rolls, and then they just put a bunch of soy sauce in it with uh, some fish balls. That's actually, good. Good. That's actually really good. Like meatballs, but fish. Fish texture mm -hmm. with rice and soy sauce, man. It's, it's very chewy, actually. Super simple. Yeah, the rice rolls are kind of chewy. Mm -hmm. But the flavors are 
I mean. It's great on this like freezing day. We're literally so cold, uh, but having this like steamed food definitely warms you up. So we just hit our third <laughs> steamed rice roll spot. The second spot was closed though. So they're it's automatically fine. out of the competition. <laughs> Hands down, Joe's steamed rice rolls. Yeah, that was really good. They had egg in it and scallions. And yeah, no, they, they did it up at Joe's. Yeah. Uh, great flavor, great texture. I mean, it went down really smooth. Yeah, <laughs> I, I would definitely recommend it, especially the market over there. They have a bunch of different foods that I think you guys should try. And the boba was good too, right? The boba? The boba was great. Yeah, that was good. You must so. pick me up. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Once again, I'm Josh Martin, New York Hi, Jet linebacker. Okay, do that again. Right. <laughs> I didn't know if you were going to go. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. I'm Josh Martin. And I'm Iris. If you like what you saw, please subscribe. Uh, Iris, where can people follow you? Uh, they can find me at Iris Y Chen on Instagram and Iris Rose on YouTube. And I'm Josh Martin 95 on everything. So hit us up. We'll see you later.